What's up guys, Cool Curly Fair and today I'm back with another GTA 5 video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the best hangers in the game. So there's five hangers that you can pick from, two in the city and two in Fort Zancudo. I'm going to show you guys why they're the best or why they are the worst. So let's get straight into it. And another thing, another thing, the hangers right now are 50% off so I highly recommend buying a hanger like 100% I highly recommend it because they give so many benefits like customizing your airplanes jets and helicopters or just doing missions in general so let's start off with the hangers in the city so there's two hangers in the city they are the lowest priced hangers one right now is 762,000 the other one 600,000 but they're the lowest price hangers so a lot of people are going to buy them which means that the airport is going to be crowded right the airport is always crowded anyway and you have to take into consideration that most players in gta are in the city and when you sell you have to pass by the city always you always have to pass by the city at first so you always have to take that into consideration when buying a bunker and also your product is going to be exposed when you pass over the city 100% not like Fort Zancudo when you can steal supplies and you're going to be in the same area so you also have to take that into consideration while buying the bunker in the city another big downfall is that there's there's no outside benefit from getting the city bunker like the benefit from Fort Zancudo which I'm going to explain once we once we talk about for Zancudo bunkers but the bunkers here don't really have pros to it like I can't really find a pro to a bunker here the only thing is that it's cheap if you don't have money I I guess buy it like if you really have to but I wouldn't really buy the bunkers here they they're really bad they're not close to any of the businesses and supply missions there's only one supply mission that's really in the city so there's not really a lot of benefit to the to the bunk to not the bunkers to the hangers in the city so i would not buy the hangers in the city unless you're really really poor now let's go to fort zancudo now fort zancudo is really really cool it has an outside feature that the lsia hangers do not so once we go into the once we go into the military base you're gonna know automatically if you don't have the hangers in for Zancudo. so as you can see we have no wanted level so if you guys don't know if you go into the military base illegally like we just did right there you get a wanted level but since we have a bunk not just saying bunker since we have a hanger here we do not have a wanted level so let me show you guys the prices of the fort zancudo hanger so as you can see um the hangers in lsia are not close to any of the businesses now look at this one they're close to two two places they're not businesses but two places right here and if you go into your motorcycle club you will see all the motorcycle club businesses here you can't see on this website because it doesn't show but I, look at my mouse there's motorcycle club businesses all around this cocaine meth everything so the lowest priced one here right now is 1 million and the second one is 1.3 million right now and the one i bought is 1.6 million i bought the highest priced hanger and there's a reason for that now this hanger the lowest priced one is very small and you guys are like why does that matter when you go when you like deliver vehicles or whatever or supplies it is very hard to land right away and if someone's chasing you they're going to explode you know i'm trying to show you guys right here i failed that's not gonna happen but you're gonna have a big ass airplane or whatever and you have to try to land that right away with the bigger hanger it's so easy trust me it's so easy to land it and it's probably gonna save your ass not gonna lie now this hanger is far away from everything so i want to buy it as you can see it's like deserted it's not close to any of the jets or anything but the hanger that I bought is close to jets, tanks, buzzards, everything. So I highly recommend buying this hanger. Now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like inside. I purchased a lot of customization. So if you're looking for customizations and you want to know what it looks like, 
I purchased some in the hangar. Now, without a doubt, I recommend every single hangar in Fort Zancudo over LSI, but it all depends which one you want to pick. In my opinion, I bought the highest priced one because, again, it's bigger, has a be better landing space. It's overall amazing. So the customization that I got here was the all white with the purple lights and the star in the middle. And once you have a hangar and you buy the workplace, you can customize your airplanes, jets, and helicopters like I have right here. As you can see, I have a golden hydra. You can't get a golden hydra anywhere. And they give you this free plane. I never used it before because it looks bummy. But yeah, I'm not going to use that. So when you go into the hangar, you get a free parachute, which I'm going to show you guys right here. You get a free parachute. And you also can customize the furniture inside your workplace. I would not do this. Trust me. I think it makes zero sense to customize furniture. It, it's like stupid. And also, um, right now, I believe, I don't know if it's double money or triple money for selling, but something like that. So take advantage of that. Now, I hope you guys like this video. It's amazing. I'm going to show you guys where the uh, the supply missions are right now. So as you can see, um, the supply missions are always going to be in Palito Bay, Palito Bay or Blaine County. I can't talk. Sorry. So if you're supplying, it's going to be way faster if you have the Fort Zancudo bunker. Hangar. I keep saying, I'm going to kill myself. Hangar. Then the LSIA hangars. So I'm going to show you guys right now where the supply missions are. I got mixed up. I was trying to show you guys on the map, but um, since I'm in the hangar, you can't show on the map so i'm gonna scroll up and then show you guys where the supply missions are so as you see the near palito bay and then blaine county so that's pretty much the video right there i hope you guys like the video hit that subscribe button that like button i'm doing more helpful videos like this and check out my other videos if you want any help on gta they may help you hope to see you guys in my next video and peace out and stay safe